So I won't keep you too much longer. I just want to say a few closing remarks and thank yous from me um, uh, from the day. So um, firstly, um, thank you all for attending and sticking with us. All of our volunteers did a great job. All of our speakers, the, the, the talks were really, really high level today. So well done to the speakers. Thank you to the partners and exhibitors. Um, we have them all again here. So I think the engagement on the Experience Zone was excellent and I got great feedback from the partners. So thank you for all who, who went over and took the time to discuss opportunities to collaborate and to work together with, with all these great companies. Um, and thank you for engaging with the, with the community here in Ireland. Um, so uh, another year, and it's been interesting to see how the predictive analytics and AI conversations have moved on again. At the first uh, PREDICT conference four years ago, the notion of needing to become a data-driven organization was still quite new and not universally understood. The need for it to happen now is just a given, and, peop uh, and testament to the people here are all on the same wavelength there. Today our speakers were digging into the detail about how creating new business models and how to make it happen, rather than if we should be focusing on this at all. For example, Accenture's Paul Pierotti emphasized the importance of having a well-planned well data strategy or face the consequences, and the options he outlined were stark. So the data strategy is the, the, only, the only show in town. Shift too quickly without the revenue streams and you'll go bankrupt and die, but go too slowly and you'll die because you're irrelevant. So choose your poison there. Um, other speakers gave lots of insights into successfully navigating the transition. Kritika uh, from Davies said that every role in an organization should have a data element to it. And Kalina Mooney from the Irish Times explained why it was important to share out the insights in a structured and accessible format as possible uh, so that employees in the organization can engage with that result of your work. Susan McKeever told organizations that they need to know themselves, know thyself, she said, in terms of the data and how it's important to them and the domain expertise they're going to need to make sense of it. So honestly evaluate where you're at in your data journey, the data quality, the skill sets, and the collaboration you need to get there. Michael Phelan warned of the pitfalls and risks of creating data sewers rather than data lakes. And Louise O'Brien reminded us how much work is still to be done? 54% of data inside organizations is still dark, and we don't know what value it holds. Barry Heavey summed up the challenges of execution. He talked of organizations playing all the right notes, but not necessarily in the right order. And as ever, there were fascinating discussions about AI, but Maeve Corcoran of Accenture left us in no doubt of how significant the human-machine interface has become. Accenture has never seen a technology drive so much change so quickly across work, home life, and society as a whole. We hope that our conference today has helped you prepare for that change. Thank you. So before we go, I'd just like to say, uh, announce that PREDICT will return in 2019 on the 1st of October. And finally, uh, my sincere thanks to the RDS, Avtech, the whole CREM Global team who worked tirelessly. But special thanks, thanks have to go to Robert and Zoran on all the design and the creativity around the, the, uh, the imagery you saw today. And of course, Shira Martin, where is she? Come on up here who's organized and worked tirelessly to run the PREDICT conference.